Welcome back. Tourist officials in Goa have warned that they would shut down a Playboy club set to open next month if there was any evidence of obscenity, vulgarity or nudity. Playboy's local franchisee PB Lifestyle has announced plans for more than 100 outlets in India. Playboy is starting with a beachside club in the holiday state of Goa, but their bunny waitress will sport a new look to suit conservative Indian values. They may brand the club as Playboy, but if they indulge in obscenity, vulgarity and nudity, then they will withdraw their permission immediately. PB Lifestyle, which has the rights to develop Playboy outlets in India, plans to open clubs, hotels, fashion cafes and shops across the country in the next 10 years, investing at least 2 billion rupees. PB says the firm is planning more modest outfits for the bunnies, famous for their skimpy costumes of corsets with fluffy rabbit tails and ears. Playboy magazine, along with a host of other foreign adult magazines, is not permitted in India owing to obscenity laws banning material deemed lascivious or appealing to prurient interest. Bureau report, Prudent Media. MPD has plans to start a new cruise terminal to berth international cruises at breakwater berth number one. MPD feels this will help to raise standard of Goa tourism. An international cruise is expected to dock at MPT on 22nd November. Acting Chairman of the Port, Biplav Kumar, said that talks are on with the government to shorten the distance from Panchi to Vasco via sea route. The construction at berth number one is almost complete. The proposed project is a cruise terminal to dock international cruises. Earlier, these cruises were docked at berth number 10 and 11. However, these berths were being used for unloading the coal. Around 39 international cruises are expected to dock at the new cruise terminal. As compared to last year, the number was just 21 cruises. A terminal building will also be constructed to accommodate and facilitate offices, lodge area, shops and other utility items will be set up at the cruise terminal. Now we have constructed one cruise berth. So uh, this is expected to start from uh, uh, 22nd uh, November, 22nd third November. And uh, this, had we, this year we have a good forecast, around uh, 39 vessels are there in forecast mm -hmm. compared to last year, like uh, in the last one, two years we have handled 21, 22 cruise vessels. So this is a, a good sign and uh, we are hopeful that we will be handling more vessels. So now we are preparing that uh, cruise uh, berth accordingly. Biplav also informed that talks are on with government to shorten distance from Panaji to Vasco via sea. We have that plan. We are exploring that possibility. In fact, uh, we are talking to some uh, uh, business uh, concerns. Uh, parties are interested also, but that will depend uh, ultimately what kind of um, arrangement we zero in on uh, with the state government. Maybe state government will also be a party to that. Reporter Surendra Madkekar for Prudent. If he is set to begin from 20th November, newly appointed Minister for State for Information and Broadcasting Manish Tiwari will be in Goa to take a review of EFI preparations. More details on Masterclass at EFI will be revealed in a couple of days. This year, for the first time, 43rd EFI will commence on 20th November instead of 24th November. Preparations for the festival are on. Manish Tiwari will be down in Goa for the ongoing Think Festival. Following recent cabinet reshuffle, Manish Tiwari has taken the charge of Minister for State for Information and Broadcasting. He would also take a review of the preparations for EFI in Goa. He is scheduled to visit the Entertainment Society of Goa, Kala Academy and all the venues of EFI on Saturday. Details on master class at EFI will be revealed within a couple of days by the EFI Directorate. Senior reporter Lokik Shilkar for Prudent. The Institute of Cost Accountants of India, Goa chapter, has started a two days conference on cost accounting in Panji. Speaking at the conference, Commissioner of Central Excise VPC Rao has said that true valuation of the entity is necessary to stop the corruption and fraud in the corporate sector. 
The Institute of Cost Accountants of India, Goa chapter on Friday started a two-day conference on cost accounting in Panji. In the inaugural session, topic of cost accounting and corporate fraud is being widely discussed and debated. Commissioner of Central Excise, VPC Rao, said that farmers of the country don't know about cost accounting but they are making country self-dependent. But on the other hand, companies like Satyam and Kingfisher, amidst multi-layered accounting system, are able to do financial wrongdoings. Big enterprises like Satyam, Kingfisher, despite having you know, expertise of cost accountants and business managers, they are almost you know, extinct. President of Goa Chamber of Commerce and Industries, Mangirish Pairaikar, said that cost account professionals should not only be limited to big corporates but also should give services to medium and small enterprises. Most of the time, the small industries, the middle field segment cannot even think of you know approaching you or cannot think of taking your services. But you need to be proactive to come towards the small size segment, to come towards the mid segment. Riker also said that proper tax audit is important for VAT valuation. Our reporter Mukesh Kumar with video journalist Shushan Pal for Prudent. Weights and Measures Department officials raided the Venna Industrial Estate and seized goods worth 30 lakh rupees. This raid was initiated on Friday morning. These goods are of Electrical, an anchor company. As per the officials of Weights and Measure Department, the goods had no manufacturing date and price label. They have now sealed the seized goods. On Friday morning, the officials of Weights and Measures Department raided the Verna Industrial Estate. The goods belonged to Electricals and Anchor companies. The goods had no mention of the manufacturing date and price label. The officials have sealed the goods. Reporter Surendra Matkekar for Prudent. News from Sports of a short break. Stay tuned.